If you give a corrupt company an inch, they'll take a mile. Today we're gonna play a game called Can You Spot the Bullshit? What up folks, once again, it is your boy Tim with another ride sharing video. Now this pertains to both Uber and Lyft coming from an article titled, Senators Question Uber and Lyft on Human Trafficking Risk. Apparently, there are a host of young minors being trafficked through our vehicle. So this is kind of important because as a driver, you never know what the hell is in your vehicle. And if you are participating unknowingly in a crime, this started out with senators from both sides of the house. So you got both Republican senators and Democratic senators scrutinizing both Uber and Lyft on how we are facing as drivers, how we are better yet, how we are dealing with the possibility of human tra trafficking. How is Uber and Lyft fighting human traffickers? The lawmakers are saying that it is happening on our platform. So both Uber and Lyft are dealing with traffickers of children. And they're asking the companies, how the hell are you dealing with this? Now, they sent letters to both the CEO of Uber, Derek Kostashawi, and uh, the CEO of Lyft, David Risher. And they want to, they're actually, they're demanding transparency over how the companies are, you know, basically trying to deal with this persistent issue. Now, the obvious issue for us drivers we don't want to be getting in fights with pimps. If someone is human trafficking or someone committed an act of human trafficking using our vehicles as drivers, we don't want to get involved in that. I understand we all want children to remain safe. We want to do what's best by children. But most drivers are not interested in putting their lives at risk to earn 80 or 90 cents a mile. If someone is trafficking a child, they're doing it either for sex, obviously, and or financial gain. If a driver gets involved in this, the driver themselves put their lives in danger. You don't know who the hell's business, although illegal, although corrupt, you don't know who the hell business you are trying to interfere with. This could get you taken out. So understand that when Derek Kostashari of Uber and David Risher of uh, Lyft is suggesting that we are in the fight as drivers. He's talking about you. And there is no sort of upside for you as a driver to get involved in this shit other than doing what's morally right. But as I stated, it could cost you your safety personally. So before we get into the depths of human trafficking, we need to define what the hell it is. So according to the Department of Justice, human trafficking is a crime involving the exploitation of a person for labor services or commercial sex as defined by the Department of Justice. Shit, that sounds like us as drivers. Being exploited for the position, or better yet, being exploited for the purpose of labor. That sounds like us, so maybe that's the reason why a hell of a lot of us drivers do not know how to spot someone being trafficked because they're trafficking us our damn selves. Anyhow, in addition to this, Uber and Lyft say that they both provide free rides to human trafficking victims they train drivers on how to spot trafficking and have partnered with organizations like Polaris. How many of you out there, to my veteran drivers, yours truly been driving since 2014, how many of you have been trained by Uber or Lyft to spot and deal with human trafficking? Where the hell did this come from? Why would they even lie to the Department of Justice and say some bullshit like this? Like I stated, give them an inch, they'll take a mile. We know as drivers that Uber and Lyft lie to us constantly. Hell, they lie to a hell of a lot of the passengers, but us drivers, they're always telling us some shit that we know is not true. From upfront pricing to shared rides, telling us how all of this shit's going to benefit us. I've told you folks before in previous videos how they told us Lyft or better yet Uber drivers are earning an average of $90,000 a year. 
stealing tips, all of the things you can think of, these companies are known to do. They have been dishonest since day one. But in this case, they could face some backlash because it appears that they are also being dishonest to the damn government, to the Department of Justice. Now, the lawmakers are asking both Uber and Lyft to answer a series of questions such as how are drivers trained to spot human trafficking and requesting records of reported tra sex trafficking incidents on their service. That question where they're going to be asked how they are training drivers to deal with this shit, whatever answer they give is a damn lie. We know that. As drivers, we're not trained to deal with sex trafficking by the companies. Any training, any way or knowledge you have in regards to dealing with human traffickers, you had that shit from somewhere else. You didn't learn that from Uber or Lyft. At best, and I mean at best, they may have you watch a two-minute film or some shit where you have to check off a box to suggest that you have watched it. We're, we don't receive any training for this. So when any passenger watching this video or whatever the case may be, us drivers have not received a damn bit of training in human trafficking, how to spot it, how to deal with it, or any of that. So the fact that Uber and Lyft are telling the telling these senators that we have already received this is a straight up lie. Now what they may do is try to rush, put some bullshit together and have you watch it before you can take future trips on the app. That's likely what's going to happen. But the fact that they've already told them that we have training, that's, that's just simply flat out false. And it's because they... The, the Justice Department is saying we know your services are being used to do this and what are you doing to stop it? So to try to make themselves look like they're proactively concerned and involved, they don't just came up with this damn lie that they don't already trained us as drivers how to spot it and how to deal with it. That's flat out false. Uber and Lyft will take a fare from whoever the hell is willing to pay it up to and including a minor that's being victimized. We know and we've talked about Uber and Uber Teen, where they're now allowing the damn kids to request a ride by themselves. It's true that the parents, uh, I suppose, card or what, allegedly with the parents' permission or whatever, but we know there's a hell of a lot of irresponsible parents out there that'll let their child book rides all damn day. And now we have to show up and pick up minors with no adult present. According to the FBI, you've had drivers actually traffic and abuse children riding in their vehicles. I've said this and many of my veteran drivers have said this from day one. There should not be a minor in any vehicle that is unaccompanied for any reason at all. You should never leave a minor with a strange adult. It just should not happen, should not be allowed. In the fact that Uber is promoting this and actually allowing it to happen on this platform is a damn shame. Hopefully these senators from both sides of the aisle, so we're talking Republicans and Democrats working together on this shit. Hopefully they demand that Uber team ceases to exist. I don't think there's any driver out there that is favorable to letting minors get in their vehicles without adults. And we know, even though we're independent contractors, if we start canceling trips and shit like that, Uber will try to find a way to punish its drivers, whether they reduce your cancellation rate, which will in turn, which will in turn disqualify you for these diamond and platinum status and all this other bullshit. There's nothing positive that's going to come out of letting teens get trips on their own. The only positive is Uber is going to make more money doing this. Us drivers, a teenager, a child is never going to tip you. So that's one problem. The next problem, if something happens, you're in an accident or something like that, you're going to feel extra obligation because now you're trying to work with a kid. This is bad. I encourage all drivers, if you can, cancel, deny, don't take those trips. If you get a trip right after school is out that 
has a you know the address to a school you know is in the area i would cancel it without even going to the school i mean you know most likely when you get to that school it's going to be a child maybe the parents with them maybe not but you can reduce the odds by simply not taking trips like that just understand that but i just wanted to point it out because they do suggest that our services are being used to traffic minors and now you have both Uber and Lyft to, in effort to save face, lying to lawmakers, suggesting that we have already been trained on how to deal with this shit. Already been trained on how to spot it. It's just a flat out lie. Now, in addition to being trained on how to deal with traffickers and how to spot it, I just want to reiterate the statement that I made. Your safety, returning home to your family should be paramount. That should be more important than making money, dealing with kids, anything else. And understand if you get in the middle of this traffic and shit, you end up on an episode of Taken or some shit. You don't need to be out here trying to earn 80, 90 cents a mile and also dealing with individuals that are trafficking children. It just adds more to how unsafe this profession is. But nevertheless let me know in the comments have you seen anything at all coming from the ride sharing companies uh trying to train you on how to spot a human trafficker or better yet even worse so do you believe you have had a victim that's been trafficked in your vehicle Real quick in the um, statement, you heard them suggest that both Uber and Lyft provides free rides to victims of trafficking. That's awful. You know why? Because us drivers are all independent contractors. And as I stated before, we have the right to cancel. If a victim is trying to get from point A to point B where their safety or something is at risk, if Uber and Lyft is going to provide them with free assistance, it should be dependable assistance, not a driver that has the right to show up and not even take the damn trip to begin with. You show up to a, you show up to a call and uh, there's somebody out, a minor, they're sitting out in front of a house or on a porch somewhere, they're crying and they're in tears, their makeup's off. You don't have to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. So the fact that Uber's making some sort of a promise that, well, we got drivers that are going to show up and pick that up. No, you don't. No, you do not. You don't know for certain. That person may be sitting there waiting for a ride share driver. Two or three guys may come by and cancel. So even their promise that they give free rides to traffickers is not necessarily a viable promise. Because at the end of the day, it's up to us as independent contractors. Uber and Lyft ain't doing shit. They're just dispatching you there. If you don't take that trip because you're an independent contractor, you have done nothing wrong. And Uber and Lyft is not going to go pick that person up. So this is yet another promise that these companies are making on the backs of us and expecting us to do it without first consulting with us to begin with. Let your boy know in the comments what you think of this shit. I think it's ridiculous. It's your boy, Tim. Subscribe to the damn channel. Click the like button. See you in the next video.